my horses. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. Hello, welcome, my hearties. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClue's internet phone in popping up. Welcome to our lovely TikTokers, of course. And welcome to everybody on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and on Twitch. So there we are. Do come and join us. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, I think we should have the telephones up and running for you as well. There we go. I think I can see that now. Who is calling? Hello, you're live on Scottish phone in. Can you hear me? There we are. Yes, it should be up and running. Keep going. Uh, if you can't get through, then read out, read out, read out. And I am absolutely certain. Partly we're having connection issues, it's telling us. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? Hello, Scotty McClure, how are you? Hello, how are you getting on? I didn't think there was anybody there for a minute, Martin, are you all right? Yes, buddy, are you, mate? Yes, I'm absolutely superb. So, so I have beat Kareem at last. You did. You, you, you've beaten Kareem to the telephones. Well done. So it's my own birthday tomorrow. It's your birthday tomorrow. So you'll give us a ring tomorrow. We we'll wish you happy birthday. Yes. Yeah, so how's your day been today? Good. Excellent day today. And uh, we had a visit from royalty today in Scotland to the cop. Right. So that's good. Uh-huh. I haven't actually been invited, so there we are. So somebody slipped up there. Uh -huh. How's your Halloween last night? Oh, fantastic. Yes, oh, that's the one night of the year I don't have to dress up. See, we, um, see, we, see we jokes to do every morning, like the three minute visuals. They're really, really funny. Do you like these? I, I, did, I, I did a couple today, so there's a couple of new TikToks up. It's good. So I can, um, so I can download them and that. So. What? Anything special you? You anything? get them on the TikTok or you get them on the YouTube. Cool. And Angela what? says happy birthday for tomorrow to Martin. Good. Thank you. And um, what do you think? Uh, what's your views on the court in Glasgow? I what's think it'll be very interesting to see what comes out of it. I know. I know. You know. I mean, all I've seen of it is a lot of policemen on the motorway. I know, I know, it's really, really ridiculous, it's madness. You know, it's, it's, but we'll see how it goes. Well, no, it's not really madness because you do have the world leaders coming. I think, is there oh. about 20 of them or something? Yes. Yes, so you see a lot of that. Here's a lovely Scottish couple says, you're on my FYP every day. The most influential Scotsman since Sir William Wallace. How do you do, Mr. McClure? Says Kirby oh, the yeah. Annihilator. Isn't that lovely? Oh, yeah. Scotty. Hi, Scotty. Hello, how are you? I'm good, yes. Yes, thank you very much for asking. <laughs> Bye, Scotty. Bye, okay. lovely to have you with us. What are you up to? We'll see you soon. Thank you very much. So there we are, wonderful stuff. Now, lots and lots going on here, guys. Uh, I say Scotty trumps Wallace. So there we are. Check out which war did you fight in? I didn't fight in wars. So there we are. Poacher, we need to send you down the swanee for being a half-witted idiot. Poachers away down the swanee, guys. Bye-bye. A wee troll. There we are. Scotty, my good man, how are you this fine evening? Scotty, dinky do. What do we think of Biden? Ah, yes. Well, he's in Glasgow. Fantastic. Sipif says, remember me? I remember you from yesterday. Sapif, how tremendous is that? How are you tonight, Scotty? Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Now, let's see what everybody's saying. You're live on, Scotty. Who's that? Hi, Hi Scotty. It's Kareem. Ah, Kareem. How <laughs> lovely to have you with us. Did you ring earlier? I did ring earlier, but I was just ringing out. Ah, yes. Busy, 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 Kareem. But we'll see how it all goes. Yes, absolutely. But I was at Martin. I heard him. I just I put you on the TV just now. Oh, brilliant! Um, How's so it looking? Can... Sorry. How's it looking on the telly? It's fine. It's the only way that I can check my phone as well while you're on the screen. If I don't have you on the telly, 
I'm limited what I can do. Ah, so brilliant. Way of doing it. That's fabulous, Karim. I love it. Yes, it's excellent. Well, Scotty, um, just been not much to, to, to report on. I think everybody's ah. been watching this, the COP26. And, well, yes, and, I'm very uh, interested in what's going on there. I mean, I, I heard some of the speeches today. Obviously, I was busy uh, working, so I couldn't really, uh, you know, hear many of that. Um, yes. But uh, but very very interesting. A lot of policemen on the motorway bridges. Yes, yes, and I think is it uh, President Biden? He's staying down Clestrick. I forgot the area, but he's not. He's staying down that neck of the woods, and there's like a twenty vehicles or something he had. Oh, I had twenty vehicles, but people were going on going. Well, it's supposed to be a climate change. What's this twenty vehicles? But, I mean, look at how many vehicles are on the motorway anyway. Ah, uh, correct. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? I, I mean, there'd be 20 in front of them and 50 behind them and 1,000 behind them. Well, see these cars, no doubt, they'll probably be eco-friendly because they'll be the most up-to-date, although they might look normal cars. I mean, like, you could virtually, you could put a rocket launcher to the, to the limousine and it would be fine because of the amount of technology. Well, what I was thinking is they will probably actually need quite a big engine, Kareem, because they'll be very right. heavily armoured. Right, okay. You see, right. that's the thing. I mean, the, you know, they're probably, I mean, an armoured an armored window's about, I don't know, better part of an inch thick. Right, so these will be stand a bit more. But maybe these other cars, I'd like to think the rest of this fleet would be eco-friendly. <laughs> yes, I mean, as such, but you see, the Americans are big on gas anyway. It's great fun. You know, we've uh -huh. never had the luxury that they've got of 50 pence a gallon because our lot are so greedy. Well, we're at 143 now, Scotty. Well, 1. you see, look, we're in Scotland. We've got our own oil and gas. Right? Yes. Never mind climate change just now. Let's just leave that till the leaders sort it out. We can't change that. We need the leaders to, to make decisions. So, right now, we're in Scotland. We have our own oil and gas. If we were independent, we could set the fuel duty, right? We don't even need duty on fuel. Uh -huh. You know? So, we could get it maybe, I don't know, 40, 50p a gallon. Uh -huh. Yeah. A lot cheaper. Yes. Uh, but yeah. However, the Nicola Sturgeon's been busy today, and she's been. I think I've watched her with some of the American uh, reporters, and they've been a lot fairer compared to, shall we say, or uh, down south neighbours. Well, you uh, see, the mainstream media in the UK will be in a bit of a panic. Their knickers will be well in a twist because uh, if Nicola Sturgeon becomes the star of the whole event. You see, so they'll be all trying to get themselves on. I mean, who was on first this morning? Boris, the United Nations, all that sort of stuff. Prince Charles, do you see what I mean? I mean, I think Nicola did a nice welcome speech. Is that right? Yes. Hang on till I dump this wee troll. He says, dinky do you talk poo. So he's just finished his TikTok career. Gone, gone, gone. Maturity there. Yeah, just a wee bit of immaturity. Are we doing this one, eh? Uh, so Art Mod saying we're going away from oil. All we're going away from oil and gas. Yes, we are, but I mean we can still use it at the moment, and we should have been paying pennies for gallons of fuel for years. I think these things have to be gradually introduced. Um, and Nicola gave a lot of good figures how we've actually done better than a lot. A lot of the UK, if not throughout the world, they're not Well, if that. somebody's just paid a hundred thousand pounds for a brand new diesel car, they're not going to want to just scrap it. No, you oh, know no, this. No. This is the whole thing. So it's got to be phased in over here so people can plan. Uh -huh. Well, I'll give you an example, Scotty. My, I told you about my combi boiler in the past. Yes, um, and I had a plumber up at the weekend. And he was putting the heaters in because I wanted new heaters. Uh, and he, he looked at the combi boil and he says, it's it's rotten. He says, it's not like, if he said, in cars terms, it's not like a Mercedes. It's not mm -hmm. like a Volkswagen. It's like a very old Ford Fiesta. Right. <laughs> yes. So, um, which to be fair, I do like Ford Fiestas, but the, the, there's going to be problems. So, however, do I buy 
a new one just now, or do I hang off because you know that they're talking about these new... What a boiler. Boilers. Well, it depends what you're paying for it. I mean, I wouldn't pay too much. I wouldn't pay very much over a K if you can get one for that. Oh, I, I was thinking, it's a two-bedroom house I'm in, so I was thinking maximum 2000 I don't know if that's me being conned or... Mm, yeah, it's probably fairly fair, you know, but mate, I would have said a little bit on the high side. All right, okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, I would have said you'll get a nice little combi for just over a K. Yeah, well, I'm going to start looking, but... I, I Hang on till I like... dump this half-wit William, why are you shouting? I, I get fed yeah. up with these idiots, I'm not shouting. So he's gone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having to get rid of trolling this is what that will be his troll line for every single live on tiktok yeah. why are you shouting did i see you crying in the supermarket um to reveal uh you talk poo you know that sort of stuff uh why what was it we had today why do you hate um hr managers so much you know just rubbish yeah I, do you know it sounds to me it's attention seeking scotty there's attention seeking but they've sought so little attention they are now floating away oh. doing the swanny yeah yeah absolutely wasting oh. everybody's time instead of you know this most fabulous live program when they could actually get learning absolutely yeah you know they yeah. could get a proper education on here and they could learn to speak properly yeah well scotty my second point today was um, you know that I'm, I'm in education and teaching and you do that yourself and you've done that for many years and you've shaped so many young people's lives and helped and mentored and, and you know, set them on their path. Um, my, I had a pupil that lost a family member, his, his father, and he, I, I was honoured, I'm not giving any names of it, confidentiality, but I was asked to attend the funeral and I, I i i just couldn't believe that you know that to, to represent the school um and for to be there to be like uh what's the word i'm looking for just just for support knowing that you know people are there to to, to help them uh, and i went today of um second uh, last period and the turnout was absolutely fantastic it was so many people there and um, we were to not wear black and it was more of a celebration and, and that's yes. what it should be. I, I think there needs to be more of this, a celebration of people's lives. Yeah. Depends Absolutely. on the circumstances and it depends on the people and on the family, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's the, way, it's the way I would want to go, that it's a celebration, what you've done in your life, what you've achieved and... You know, and I, I, my condolences to the whole family and friends. And, and, and the healing starts now because the easy part, if there is an easy part, is the build up to the funeral when you're with friends and family and people. But the real healing takes place after, yeah, you know, when it's weeks and months ahead, when of course. The, the real healing needs to take place. So well, good. well done, you, Karim, and thank you for that. That's very much appreciated, and that will have enhance that young person's experience. So it'll be a bit of doom and gloom. No, there, no, it's not doom and gloom. No, it's life. And we talk yeah. about life on here. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know? Well, Scotty, thank you for taking my call again. Um, and dinky doo. And your your well. call is, as always, outstanding. And a big dinky do to you. There we are. That's our Kareem. What a fabulous guy. Right. Uh, let's see what everybody's saying in the chat. Uh, yes, Scotty says John. Hello, pal, says Thomas. Scotty, Joe Biden's asking for you, says Jerry. Evening, everyone. Dinky, do you hope you're well, pal? Absolutely, Martin. Hi, Kareem. Uh, good evening. Kareem spends well over an hour a week on the phone in. And that's just his first call. Professor Numptyheat, where would we be without uh, calls of that caliber? So there we go. Why do we go mad about saving a few pence in the budget, says Kulelio, um, on petrol when oil companies <coughs> have put 40p on this year. Scotty, you seem a bit annoyed tonight. You okay? No, not at all. I'm just getting rid of the wee uh, trolls. You're live on Scotty's phone in, Dinky Doo. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Scotty. 
is Martin again. How are you doing, son? Yes, Martin, this is your second call. Yes, how are you? Very well, you know I am. What do you think of all the... Do you think the market should 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 go ahead, all the, all the, all the Christmas markets? Yes, yes, I think everything should go ahead as much normality as possible. Yes. Yes, absolutely, Martin. We're needing we're needing to start celebrating again. Uh -huh. What's your favourite restaurant? Oh well, I won't give away names of restaurants or anything like that. We don't do that on here. I know, I know, I know, I know. You know? Yeah. So, so, how, so, is there any more? To, is there more to subscribers on here? Yes, uh, yes, lots more subscribers today. It's wonderful on the YouTube. Uh -huh. How's your Twitter doing? How's what? How's your, how's your, how's your, how's your Twitter doing? Well, no, the Twitter, we're not actually appearing live on it. So there are, uh -huh. so it, it doesn't look like there's that facility. So uh -huh. what, uh, what I've done is just directed people to follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClure. Uh -huh. As much uh -huh. following as possible, Martin, because we're going to be building this up until it's huge. Yes. So there are. I can hear myself coming back loudly in the background. I know, I know. Yeah. B, B, because I'm watching you on, on, on my laptop. <laughs> ah, right. Marvellous. Lovely to hear you again. And dinky-doo. Dinky-doo. So I'll, um, I'll um, phone you. I'm um, going uh, uh, um, phone you tomorrow. Phone me tomorrow about your birthday. Yes. Yes, lovely. Dinky-doo, la, la. There we are. Yes, no, whoever said I was sounding annoyed, it's just um, I can't be bothered with trolls wasting their time because they don't understand what they could be doing if they put their mind to it. So there you are. You'll always have the halfwits. They're used to trolling other people's lives, but they need to learn you never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClure. It's just not done. It's a rule of the internet, really. My funeral's going to be fancy dresses, Art Monte. Uh, hello from South Texas. Thatcher sold off a percentage of our oil for life uh, because we had no idea what we were doing. So the Americans helped and got hugely rewarded. Right, Chris. Scotty, you said you'd have a go on the old squeeze box. I do have a go on the squeeze box. I'll give you a tune on that. Twitter isn't got the same traffic. Uh, no, not the same as uh, we, we've got right on here. But it's just that it's an extra platform for people to see Scotty McClure's stuff. So if you do have a Twitter account, follow me at Scotty McClure. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell big style. There we are. Hello, Sardinky. Who's your favorite caller, Scotty? Oh, I think I've got so many favorite callers. Kareem comes very, very high up the pecking order. D. Gould is another cracking caller. Uh, Martin's very nice, of course. We like hearing Martin. Uh, we like Thomas from Glasgow. He's a very good call. We had a wonderful call from Wonky Pint yesterday on the TikTok. Uh, you're a cool hello from Russia. Ah, previt, previt. And das Vidanya. Lovely to have you with us from Russia. We love it. Fantastic, guys. Hello, we man. Where are you from? There we are. Did you bump the time up, Scotty, for the fun end? Did you bump the time up for the fun end? Did you bump the time up? Not sure what you mean by that, Drewski. You'll have to. Oh, I see. Did we change the clocks? Yes. Yes, we've changed the clocks. No problem at all. Up the Royal Artillery, says Fraz Dog runs it. Fraz Dog runs it. He must be a British Army supporter. Up the Royal Artillery to you, Frog runs it. Scotty, you're a gentleman. Very few left, sir. Oh, absolutely. Just a good few of us on here. So there we are. Play Up Pompey. No, I don't know if I know Up Pompey. Doing the swanee with them all, Scotty boy. Says Beachy Beachy. Saw President Biden on the M8 today, Scotty. That convoy was spectacular. I forgot the UK is, wait a minute, six hours until we change times in North America. My bad. Ah, Drewski, yes, indeed. When do you change in North America? How was your day? Fantastic, Chanel. Hello from England. Awakens. 
We love having you on from England. No, Scott, he is asking if the time can be two hours of phone in. Oh, I see, Chris. Well, eventually, let's make a success of one hour first, and then we can look at two hours. Is there going to be a serious chance of getting a climate deal or just more hot talk? I see what you just did there, Cornelio. Hot talk. We love it. What kind of deal do you think we should have from climate change? Is there an actual emergency or has that been sort of ramped up? This is a term I cannot stand, but I've used it because that's what the media do. Yes, indeed. I can't handle TikTok. Every American's become falsely political. Kirby, you can handle anything, and TikTok is an outstanding platform. Next Saturday, we change the clocks. Ah, why don't we all change at the same time? And why do we change, Drewski? Why do we put our clocks back in winter and forward in summer? Angela, you're, you're reading my mind, my darling. That's what I've just asked there. I like the badge on your hat. Well, let me see if I can show it to you properly. Hang on. Let's see what's involved here. And I'll see if I can do this for you. There we are. Now you should be able to read that. Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo. Can you read that? Can you read that on the YouTube, guys? Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo. There we are. Fantastic. It'd be wonderful if everyone weren't so divisive. Just they can be so well. We're not divisive on here. We're very much a team. We're very much together on TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook Live with Scotty McClure. And uh, all that sort of thing. Any inspirational words, Scotty? Of course, Horan. Yes, indeed. This is the moment, and I am the one. Right? That's what you must say to yourself. And also remember, I can and I will. All right. Well said, sir. Absolutely. Not so many callers tonight, Scotty. No, Cianelli. I think they're probably watching football and things like that. It doesn't matter. You know, they can decide whether to call or not. We're here anyway. And this is why I return to you, my friend. Kirby the Annihilator. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClure. You miss a moment of life. Do you want Scotland to stay in the UK or leave? As an Englishman, I would want you to stay. Well, no, we'd love to stay, but we're so badly treated by Westminster. They just grab the money and give us nothing back to speak of. You know, we're, we're actually subsidizing the whole of the UK at the moment in Scotland. And we don't get any thanks for it. We just get cheek. So there we are. So, I mean, the government needs to take a serious, serious look at its relationship with Scotland. You know? Uh, happy birthday to my best friend. Thank you very much. Are you famous? Well, I'm known to two billion people. So if you think that's famous... There we are. Now, dinky-doo, there's a Scotty Hope Balls treating you well. Very, very well indeed. Uh, now, what have we got here? It's funny, though, he's going to COP26 in a large convoy of large petrol-guzzling American cars. No, but that's fine, Alistair. Why not? Why was the first minister at COP26 as numpty heat? Because she's the first minister of Scotland, and she is the resident host for COP26. Yes, indeed, Scotland is hosting it, so the First Minister should be to the fore. Definitely famous, Scotty. Oh, Lily. Lily, it's lovely to hear from you again. We lost you for a wee while, and now you're back with us. I love that. Do you wear a Scottish skirt? No. <coughs> no man wears a Scottish skirt. We wear a kilt, which was started off as a length of tartan. Died in the colors of your clan or tribe. So there you go. Uh, now, what have we got here? Jamie, thank you for joining us. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue. Live on TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn Live. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. There's nothing to stop us having 3,000 subscribers tonight. But some people are just very lazy. Just do it, then you'll get your notifications. Definitely, yes, absolutely. What's happening in the chat? Where's everybody tonight? What's on the telly? I want to know. Uh, and uh, also, we need to get you calling in. We want to hear from callers.
tonight. I'll just check that the phones are working. Because sometimes they're not always. So there we go. Somebody might have been trying and trying and trying and ringing and ringing and ringing. Right, the phone should be all right if you have been trying to get through. Uh, they are thinking it was for security reasons. Biden landed in Edinburgh rather than Glasgow. What did did he land in Edinburgh, Anthony? Right. Slot and where they could get him in. Aha! I see what the problem is. We're having connection, and uh, that's causing the problem. Premier League's on tonight, but Kian, that shouldn't mean people are not watching Scotty McClure. I mean, if it's the choice between football and Scotty McClure, you're going to watch Scotty McClure. Premier League, no Premier League. What clan does McClure belong to? The McClure clan. Yes, absolutely. Is that you in the photo behind it, isn't it? And there's Lord Reith, the Labrador. Oh, that's true, Scotty. Absolutely, Kian. Yes, indeed. Uh, McClure wins hands down, I say. So lovely, all our beautiful TikTokers. There's somebody calling us. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Everything's What's happening. happening. Who's that? It's uh, John Meat. John Meat. Lovely to hear you, John Meat. Thank you very much. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty, it's Kareem. Sorry, second call. Second call. No, I've realised what the problem is I'm getting. I noticed saying it seems like your stream's having connection issues. Ah, right. So okay. that's probably the reason for the, the slight drop. Right, okay. Right. So is you, I, I wonder if you, well, YouTube should be all right. You're watching it. Yes, I've got you on YouTube. Just so now. I wonder I'm what like Twitch thing. is doing at Scotty underscore McClure or what's happening at LinkedIn. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's, at least we know what it is. And I think we're going to get a bit of this, even the bigger it gets, it's going to overload, because that's how the net works. It does, but you always, you always overcome them and then we always move on. Well, we do, Karim, and um, there's very big stuff in the pipeline. So there's, there's, there's a lot of chat going on about Scotty McClure at the moment. Excellent. You know, so I think I think at some way it's going to win through, yes, by hook or by crook, as they say. Ah, well, it should at the end of the day, Scotty, because you deserve it and more. Well, I feel the product is good, Kareem. I think what we do is worthwhile, and I think it's just a case of everybody finding out about it. Yeah, absolutely. These things take time, but it is growing, Scotty. It oh, really oh definitely, Kareem. There's no doubt about it. I'm seeing a much healthier turnout. Absolutely. You know, yeah. and the TikTok yeah. is fantastic. Doing good, sir, says what channel? <laughs> what team do you support, so Chanel? Chanel, there's too many teams to list. Yes, Scotland. Yes. We support Scotland. We support Scotland. Lots and lots of teams. Scotty, my same call, sorry, it was... I just had a thought there because I had to pop out very quickly with right. the dogs and because I needed the toilet, I was getting that evil look. So, and it's just by Friday, the, they're starting to notice now the fireworks are going off a lot more. Yes. Do you know that I thought I might have an early night last night because it's the one night I'm not on. And uh, when I went to bed, somebody started letting off fireworks. Yeah. And that's <laughs> the thing that's annoying, Scotty. We all love fireworks. But it's when they're set off at ridiculous times, yeah. and then all the, the damage it causes that these numpties don't see. No, with the dogs terrified in houses, waking up babies. You know, have people with learning supports needs that are totally traumatized. What was that? You know, and El elderly people, that. all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I I think they should be confined to the fifth of November. And I think it should be public displays only. And I think it should actually be illegal. And if they get a report of fireworks, then they go around and find somebody. I have a sneaky feeling that this year that it will be the build up now. But I think this year will be the worst for fireworks because a lot of the big displays are, are cancelled due to COVID. Now, I've had a look around, so the Glasgow, and I loved 
going to the Strathclyde Park one and oh, even fabulous. the calendar up in Falkirk. The calendar fantastic. park. Wonderful. Yeah, a, Here's a view and Craigton Park, St Andrews was another cracker. Right. I've never been. Um, I'm sure, I'm almost sure. And do you remember Oban when uh, uh, there was an accident and they all went off at the one time and the whole display yeah. lasted about, I think, two minutes? Yeah, it was uh, a very quick show they had there, I think. <laughs> uh, we're getting, here's what Chama saying, agree with the speaker. So there you are, Karim. Oh, and Kuleleo, only sell them to organised events. Have to agree, says David. Uh, hi, Scotty Dinky Doo says the wonderful kitty dragonfly in America. Smart lad. So you're a smart lad, Kareem. We love it. Thank you. But I, I do think that, Scotty, that I think there'll be a lot more people buying fireworks. Uh, and I think Friday will be a, a probably a lot noisier than what it should be because a lot of families will be at home. Absolutely. Um, I suppose the only advantage is that a lot of it should and should be earlier than later, but then you're going to have a lot of numpties, I suppose, Friday night drinking fireworks. I think there'll be a lot of accidents. Well, that's the happen. problem. I mean, somebody could lose an eye, get very badly burned. Even these sparklers, you know, if you if you were to touch them before they're truly cold, you can get quite a nasty burn. I, I don't know if I've told you the story, but I was at Helen's a couple of years ago, and they had a bonfire display, and there was a friends, and there was a toddler there, this young family and had caught, the toddler had cotton hat, cotton jacket, cotton gloves, and then the the couple gave this wee toddler a spr sparkler. And I just thought if those sparks go on, or if it puts it near its jacket, boom, it's, it's, it's on fire. No, you'd be better giving them a nice wee plastic torch, and they can wave it about. Perfect. Yeah, you know uh, that would be the thing. Yeah. What about this, Karim? Here's Alice. I was out in a supermarket today and two ladies were talking about Scotty McClue being back on YouTube. Oh, Isn't that beautiful? That is fantastic, yes. Yeah, we love yes. that. Uh, Kareem, you're a great buddy. Could I add you on Facebook, says Martin. Uh, Dinky Doo, my boy, says Lewis. It's worrying about Glasgow's bin workers being on strike this week. It's going to cause big problems with rats and vermin. Not a good that, advert for Glasgow with COP26. That is purely political. From what I've been reading about that, the unions uh, that have authorised that are Labour supporters, from what I've been, what I've got the evidence. Well, I think mo like. most unions will be Labour supporters. I can't yeah. think of too many Tory unions. Yes, uh, but it's, it, it'll be, it's purely political because a lot of the, the bin men didn't want to strike. Um, so that's probably to tarnish SNP bad government all this. Kind ah, of yes, indeed. Well, you see, I think coming out of Europe, I uh -huh. think probably they they love it because it deregulates and they can manage to smash some more unions. Uh -huh. You see, you look if you look forty years ago, the unions actually had the power. Uh -huh. You see, and 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 you know, I mean, Thatcher managed to smash the miners. And she managed to smash the steel workers, and she managed to smash this yin and that yin and the next yin. But in actual fact, all this is doing is reducing people's experience of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see? I listened to her as a, a, a Facebook page, um, and I got quite <coughs> interested, not that I support Thatcher at all. But one thing that I will give her, she was an outstanding speaker and she always used the key buzzwords at the time. Wonderful speaker and actually a fabulous politician because it is, you know, a rough trade, actually, politics. And it took them 11 years to manage to stab her in the back. Sorry, Scott, I was having a quick drink. Yeah. Yes, um, that she was, the key big words, I think, she, her words that she always used was enterprise and she was talking about the the coal, etc., and closing them down, that we need to move more to the technologies and enterprise. And I thought, and I've just, I remember I was only a wee boy in the 80s, um, <coughs> but I was remembering what you were speaking about, the fact that when you close so much and you don't have other things put in place... You have then, nothing to put in its place. You know, you can't yeah. say, oh, no, we can get rid of all the mines which we've had for 400 years because we've got mm -hmm. computers coming in. 
you know, you just can't do that. I mean, you know, Harold Wilson's white heat of technology speech. The white heat of technology. You know, very, very interesting stuff in 1964 or whenever it was made. But, I mean, 1964, I mean, what are we talking? You're getting on the best part of 60 years. Yeah. It's incredible, you know that that sort of thing. And uh, when was the uh, the 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 Labour government? Nineteen forty-five. Yes, and in and forty-eight, fifty, uh, that sort of thing. So I mean, that's a good seventy years ago as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, a long time. You're talking about. Yeah. I mean, the BBC is a hundred years old next year. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Yes. Well, Scott, to listen, I just thought to, to, to phone up. The main point was there was about the fireworks. And if anyone is listening, uh, well, not anyone, when people listen to this and to spread, always tell 10 to tell 10, as you say, but also about the fireworks. If, if they can hold off, if they know people, and get them to hold off to the last minute because there's a lot of people that are suffering silent, quietly in society when these big fireworks go off and it's not fair for them. Very, very fair point, Karim. Thank you so much for your lovely call. Your second call of tonight, top man. There we are. That's our Karim. Lovely stuff. Uh, ha ha, where do we start? Yes, indeed. Scotty is when the you do for the night to him. No, don't know what that means at all, Ro. There we are. Hello, you're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, hello. Hello. Hi, it's me, Lewis. Lewis, lovely to hear you. Lovely to hear you too, Scotty. What are you up to? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a phone in. <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually live on the internet. What are you up to? What are you up to? Uh, the GS Queen Mary open days 27, 28th November to see renovations to date. Free tickets on Eventbrite. Thought you might like to know Gordon Robertson. We like to know all of these wonderful things. Thank you so much. Was Scargo right in the end, says Colerio, saying the mines would close? I think he was, Colerio. I think there was too much anti-Mr. Scargo at the time. Scotty was a very smart man, but that lad prior had a good point. Yes, indeed, very much so. Now then, people have got lots of good points. Massively agree, says Watchama Column. Agreed, everybody. Yes, indeed. Colerio says... Plonka, Scotty, yes, indeed. Thank you very much for that. Stop hanging up, says Sony. Yes, why did they hang up, Sony? Ridiculous nonsense. There we go. What's the point in phoning if they're just going to hang up? Very silly, wasting time. That's what I would say, Sony. So there you go. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching the internet phone in with me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Hashtag flow time. There we go. What's happening here? Hello? Hello? All right, we didn't get that one. Give us a call. Give us a call back if you can, and let's uh, let's hear from you. Dinky do. Uh, there we go. Wonderful stuff. Now, what have we got here? Come and follow me, please, on the TikTok. Lots and lots of beautiful followers. If you're watching, subscribe on YouTube. I've just missed a call there. So there we are. It's just telling me. Lovely little sounds it makes. Uh, new to TikTok. How do I phone? Well, Chama, you actually would need to go onto the YouTube channel and phone from there. You'll see the number. If you look at my TikTok bio, just below it, you will see the YouTube link. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? You're live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? There we are. I don't know. Somebody, I think he was in conversation with his mother at the time. Right, that's that. Uh, Emma says, hi, you were great, buddy. We could be friends. I could add you on Facebook. Uh, oh, you're talking to Emma, right? There you go. Scargo was the miner's worst enemy, says Gordon Robertson. Oh, I don't know about that, Gone. I think Thatcher 
was the miner's worst. Anyway, there we are. Your interesting garden. You've got the rose-colored specks on. It's a pair of these you're wanting. A pair of what? Can I phone? Of course you can phone, Ghost. You've got the number. So there we are. 0141 628 Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, my name's Rhys. Uh, I'm having some issues. I'm having some trouble uh, with my friend. So there we are. Um, good morning, Scotty from Australia. Dinky do. Good morning, Frank. Lovely to have you with us in Australia. And a big dinky do to you. I say, lovely, lovely. To the telephones, guys, as soon as you can. There we are. It's a pair of these you're needing. Absolutely. How's the first lord of the internet? Fantastic, thank you. I've got the light blue specks on. I think you have gone yes. Very, very fair. They're certainly not in any way contaminated with coal dust. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, Alistair King says Nicola should put a minimum price on them as she's done with a pint. Minimum price on what? Are we talking? Kareem, I meant, says Martin. Ah, yes. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, Scotty, it's Raimondo from Falkirk. Ah, Raimondo from Falkirk. How are you, Raimondo? I'm good, Scotty. I haven't spoken to you for a while, pal. You haven't spoken to me for far too long. And we had some issues tonight with uh, some of the stream's technical stuff beyond my control. I'm sorry to hear that, Scotty. No, not I... to worry. I think we'll encounter a bit more of that. So I would say to everybody, bear with us, because the bigger right. this thing gets, the more, obviously, the way the internet works, if you cram it, it then starts to stagger. That must be what that is. All these, all these folk for the COP26 will be tuned Yes, everybody will be listening in the COP in Glasgow to Scotland's top phone-in show. I think so. Yes, I, absolutely. I have, uh, what prompted me to phone was the health uh, calendar park mentioned. Calendar park was mentioned. Now then, give me a little bit of history because calendar park, when I remember, it was part of the college and it's huge. It's a massive big, what could you call it? It's, um, it's like Versailles. It's an, it's an estate. Right. You've got Calendar House. Yes, I've seen that. A beautiful place. It's fantastic. It's a great See, place. See, Raimondo, what you've got to remember, I started your radio station for you 30 years ago, Central FM. I remember it well, Scotty. Yes, a wonderful well. thing. And we, we uh, I remember we had a, a, a bus all logoed up and we parked it at Calendar Park. Yes. It's <coughs> a great place. Fantastic. So, uh, there must be a fair old bit of history there, though. Oh, that's a fantastic history. And we almost enjoyed the fireworks show there. Great nights. Yes. Great nights. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
Yes. Who's that? Uh, the name's Paul Allen. Paul, lovely to have you with us on Dinky Do. Uh, I was just wondering, what do you think of the newly opened restaurant in North Sea? Oh, I don't know that one. So there we go. Uh, on we come, guys. I'm in hospital right now as we speak. So, Sony, Sony, I'm so sorry to hear that. So there we go. Excuse me. We had minors on both sides of my family. I'm a mother of boy, a big coal and steel area. Hamilton, on the other hand, was known for stealing coal. <laughs> the iron and steel industry. The mother used to iron and the father used to steal. Scotty, can I have the YouTube address again, please? Yes. Watch my column. If you look at my TikTok bio, just below it, you'll see the live hyperlink to YouTube. If you can't see it, it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. You can't go wrong. Laughter's the best medicine. It's also free. Quite right. All the sevens. So there we are. So it's Scotty McClue, one year after for YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue, one. There we are. Dinky do. Hello, Albert. Good to have you with us. Yes, indeed. The old daddy jokes. We love it. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Tommy from Glasgow. Tommy from Glasgow. Lovely to hear you. And Dinky do. How are you? Oh, excellent. Tonight has been a fabulous show. Yeah, I'll be watching this. Good luck. I mean, a Monday night, Premier League football on, you know, and everybody's piling right in here. All right, we're still watching Scotty McClue. Yes, I love it. And I've said we will never, ever, ever change Scotty McClue, even if there's Premier League football. You can you can turn the football down and turn McClue up. That's right, I do, <laughs> Lovely to have you with us. I need everybody to do a house share with everything they're watching. Just share it right now. Well, I've done everything I can on my side anyway, Scotty. That's brilliant. You're an absolute top man, Thomas. We love your calls, by the way. I agree with Akeem as well, man, and our British fireworks. They should ban them altogether. They should ban them because it's not fair on people. It's not fair on the dogs. A firework is a very stressful thing, actually. My girlfriend, she's kept the cat in the night, man, because we're setting the fireworks up up here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think I can't understand. I don't think there's any great joy in it nowadays. I think with they've had their day. It's time to move on. Uh, that's what I was you know what I mean? Absolutely. Plus, I don't agree with the uh, celebrating the burning of a Catholic. Nah. You know, and and do you know that the gunpowder would never have gone off anyway? I know. It was too degraded. They should have taken, nowadays they'd take that into consideration. Yeah, I know. I was watching, I was watching that cop thing on the telly as well. With Frank Charles and all that. Uh, what did you think? Hmm. I just, just need to wait till tomorrow to see what's happening. See what's happening. Did he take a wee tumble as he was going on to the stage? I think it did. I'm not too sure. Aye, I thought I saw something in a, in a wee video today and I thought, oh. Uh, well, I'm not too sure. I think it may have just had a wee tip, man. You know what I mean? I just when he was going up because these things, very often these stages are quite highly polished. And I've had to be careful with the big McClue brogues on, you know. Aye, they never invited me, so there's been a wee oversight there. I mean, it's no show without punch, so you can't really have a COP26 and not invite Scotty McClue. Something strange. Anyway, I'm not going to push it because that's up to them. I could have spoken for them, you see. You're an absolute top man, Thomas. Take great care of your dear self and dinky do. Ta -ra -la. Ta -ra, ta -ra. Top man. There we are, two of the telephones, guys. Oh, for goodness sake. You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? There we go. Now then, you're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? 
Hello, who's that? Uh, Sean McGuire. Sean, how are you tonight? Oh, I can't hear you. You need to turn down your background if you're on, guys. Scotty, I was listening to a broadcast called uh, Remembrance. Good, well done, Scotty. Excellent. They're all on there on the YouTube. Uh, wonderful stuff. Who have we got? Beachy Beachy. Thank you for that. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Mr. McClure. Hello. I, it's, I, I actually love to watch the video as well. It's stuff like that there. I, I, I am amused that I'm on the phone with you. I'm loving that you're on with me and a big dinky do to you. A very dinky do to yourself, sir. I'm new to the talk and uh, you're my top celebrity on wow. this here. How That's lovely. What a lovely thing to say. Well, TikTok has been amazing. People, I loved your down the swanny. I loved the way that you do that. You're an absolute star of a man. Down the swanny with the idiots. See, these are just wee Neds that are used to trolling other people's lives in the hope that they'll upset the lives. Yeah, they will become something. Uh, I, I, I can't believe I'm actually speaking to you, to be honest with you. I'm just delighted um, you're speaking to me. I, I have a good one for you. Right. Do you know what I would love? I would love if we could extend the phone in to the actual TikTok. Yeah, I actually was on TikTok. I've seen you live on TikTok. Yeah, and absolutely. I, I, I'm live on I'm TikTok a, right I, now. Yeah, I, I I was watching you in the sitting room on the phone. Uh, How amazing. And, and then uh, came out because I've been working from home due to COVID and stuff like that there. Um, and I had the Mac in the kitchen, so I came into the kitchen to watch you on the the, the Mac. Uh, so it's it's amazing. That's it's fantastic. Really well, I can uh, tell you something. This will go absolutely huge, just ballistic. You, I, I think you're an absolute gentleman. Um, I love to the kind. I, 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 the good one that I had was. I could guess what number you were thinking of if you want to try it or if you're too busy. No, it? we're never too busy for you. This is okay, it's right, a phone okay. in and you've phoned okay, in. Okay, uh, do me a favor, right? Think of a number. Right. Tell me it, right? Obviously. Uh, any random number. Right. 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 Uh, you've picked your number, right? Yeah. Uh, double it. Right. Um, Add, add, rather than me thinking of, 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 I know what you're going to say, right? So you pick the number, you mm -hmm. double it, add on, um, give me a number. Give you a number? Yeah, say any number in the world. Right, uh, 23. 23, right? So you've picked a number, mm -hmm. you've doubled it, mm -hmm. add on 23. Right. Half it. Um, I can't half it exactly. Oh, you can. You can get a point five and stuff. Like right. That. Okay, I, I've got a point five. So wait a minute. So I'm going to half it. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. So you've picked the number. Mm -hmm. You've doubled it. Mm -hmm. You've added on twenty three. Mm -hmm. Now take away the number that you picked at the start, away from the number that you have now. Right, okay. Uh, would your number be 11.5? It's exactly that number. Is that right? Is that correct? You're a hundred percent correct. I don't know how you've done that, but you're a hundred percent correct. A hundred percent, yeah, no faffing. No. Know, Eleven point five is the number. <laughs> you clever, you're clever a, man. You're an absolute gentleman, and I absolutely love your show. I love everything. I think you, you yourself, are an absolute gentleman, and you are what people should try and be. You are a top man, and we should all try and be like you with your mathematics. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's a mathematical equation. It's just, you know, it's simple. I've got Galileo here going, it's basic maths. <laughs> uh, 
Well, it's pretty good basic maths, I'll tell you that. Well, it's an absolute privilege. A privilege. The honour is all mine, my dear fellow, and dinky do. Dinky do, and see, see, see the bad day down the swanny. Down the swanny with the idiots. Down Thank the you. Swanny the gold man. <laughs> dinky do la. There we are, top man. That was amazing. How did he do that? You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Dinky do, Scott. Uh, how's it going? Ah, Glenn, Dinky do. Hang on two seconds, Glenn. Nice one. There we are. We've got so much feedback. Thank you, Disco Pete, for beautiful TikToks. Good evening from Geodog in South Africa. Thank you, Beachy Beachy, for 21 beautiful TikToks. There you we know, are. I'm Amazing. Long, I'm I, uh, What's that, La? You're not on long enough. Well, no, we're not, actually. I mean, we, but listen, there's huge things in the pipeline. Just yeah. you bide your time, Glenn, my boy. Is it that? Finger on nose, see what happens, Scott. Keep see, looking. Uh, see what happens. Let's just yeah. press on the now. Yeah. I mean, Not tonight, big, I think... tonight for a Monday night with Premier League football on television, Lord knows how many dramas, and what, we've Scottie got was... everybody coming and joining us on here. These Premier League games, Scott. They can watch them on catch up. You watch them anytime at all. You know, watch, Scotty McClure is here and now. Just, just put our light show on it whenever. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, Scotty McClure's here and now, Glenn. The, the live for Scotty is more important than watching some an overrated football in it, Scotty. At Listen to this, Glenn. Good day, Scotty. Carviator here. It's been a while. He's in Australia. What time is it in Ozzyland, Scott? Well, I would imagine you would reverse it. It's probably something like at 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Which is not actually, it's not probably the best internet time, but it's not a bad time for a late night phone-in. Brilliant stuff in that. Do you it's know? It amazes me on the other side of the world. Ah, the, I love it. Yeah. I mean, once we get everything up and running, and it does take a while, and oh, we're into yeah. our seventh week or whatever, this is show number, I can't see from here, is it 63, 66? Yeah. Show 66, just, something like that. Do you know what I mean? It's just amazing stuff. It, it's, it takes time. It, it progresses. But it? would you not say that every single show we do is a tiny bit better than the previous one? It's never the same, is it? No. The football's finished, apparently, according to Mitch. Scotty McClure's my highlight of the day, says yeah, Beachy Beachy. Tell us about football finishing, Scotty, could you? Is that glad on? I couldn't give two about the football, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Scotty, you know, I know you don't follow football that often, but back in the day when football was football, yep. you'd appreciate it better. Well, really, as I say, you know I've only been to four games in my life. Yeah. You know? There were tacticians, weren't there? I mean, I got taken to it by a top, top football agent who said to me, do you know what the score is? And I said, yeah. uh, I says, 2-1. Uh, it goes, one all. <laughs> Scotty, all this VAR stuff and all this, you know, this, te this video technology and things. Yeah. Can you imagine if legends at a game like Georgie Best, oh. Charlton, Ah. Can you imagine how they'd have adapted, how they'd have gone off in, that, in this day and age with ah. the world the way it's now? Fantastic. It's, it's a different level altogether, isn't it? They were real footballers, weren't they? There's uh, what you call I'm saying, not a big football viewer either. Are you attending uh, COP, Scotty? Says Mitch, haven't been invited, Mitch. It's early morning in Australia, Scotty. Is that, that Glenn on? They're asking. That was before my time when Georgie Best were playing, but I still admire the legend of the game a lot. Here's one. It's a bit late to actually start discussing it, but do you agree with bending the knee at footy? I personally do yeah. not, because I think it's you know. bowing down to racism when we should be standing up to racism. Yeah, exactly. So you don't see. You don't see. Glenn, we're going to have to say good night to the TikTokers. Are you saying good night? Good night, TikTokers. Night, TikTokers, la. Off to Bobo's. Beautiful. Do you, do you there we are. Let's put this near of honor and all that. Do you think it's got to go out there? It's got it. Is this the what, Glenn? This, this uh, Black Lives Matter and all this. Do you think it, 
Oh, no, that's fine. I mean, Black Lives Matter, all lives matter. There's no problem with that. But the taking the knee thing is not the right gesture. That needs yeah, to be looked at. There is some teams that don't do that, though, Scott. Uh. Glenn, I'm going to have to dash now. We're out of time. Love you lots. There we go. We're out of time, guys. Dinky-doo.